hello guys in this video i am going to record how to start developing qml pyside uh, applications with python so for that what i did so far under our main python project uh, directory i created a qml test directory and inside that i created a new virtual environment called test uh, virtual environment then i created a new directory inside this qml folder i have created another file called main.qml as of now which is blank i haven't done anything yet and then after that after creating this main.qml file i created a main.py file uh inside our qml test folder so this is the file which is also a blank file nothing i have not started writing yet so this is the setup now i activated my new test uh, virtual environment and inside our new virtual test virtual environment I have run this command to install this PySite 6. The PySite 6 got installed. Now we can start writing our application. So to write a QML application, these are the minimum requirements, imports, what we need to what we need to type out in our editor. So the first thing is the OS module, then the sys module and we need to import this qt qml and qt gui from pyside 6 and after that uh, we need to create an application qgui application then we need to create this q qml application engine and with this engine we need to load the qml file so we are keeping it under our qml uh, uh, folder so we are keeping our main.qml file under the qml folder so that we are giving here to load the file from this particular location and this is the mandatory thing we need to write uh, this is if not engine dot root context then then sys dot exit minus one if not engine dot root context then uh, we'll be exiting with minus one uh, code so sys dot exit minus one and then we'll be doing writing a try and accept claw and inside the try we'll be calling sys dot exit application dot execute we can write underscore uh, this uh, execute application dot execute uh, underscore but uh, it will give you a warning that it will be deprecated so we can use this execute instead of underscore execute so after writing this we need to write inside our q uh, main dot qml we need to import first these two things qt quick and, and qt quick controls uh, both are 2.15 uh, version and then we need to write application window like this and inside that i am giving the title visibility we need to uh, give it true otherwise by default it's false the window won't be uh, visible and i am giving the width and height of the window now other thing you can see that already i have shown that i have installed this site 6 in our uh, virtual environment so uh, to to configure vs code uh, auto complete all the pi side modules and everything what i did i simply i i simply went into the interpreter selection section of uh, vs code and i uh, pointed the interpreter the python 3 interpreter of my test environment as we can see here and once we set our uh, test virtual environment python uh, as the interpreter then everything should work and as we can see like if we type here 
like uh, anything like Q and you will get to see all the Q application and the Q TGY uh, modules here so this is how um, I am auto completing my uh, QT uh, PySide 6 uh, modules in VS code now after this uh, what we can do once we set it up everything and yes one more thing to see everything to get the support of QML and this uh, sin, uh, this code highlighting syntax highlighting uh, property in VS code to enable all these things we, what we need to do we need to install this QML extension uh, to get support for this QML language so after doing all this setup what we can do as we have already set our interpreter with our virtual environment we can directly click on this one this run python file button and once we run this see we can see our application it's running as whatever we have given it's a 400 by 200 uh, window and its title is hello world so this is how we can start developing our QML application with the Python and inside of a virtual environment so this is it guys hope you have learned something from this video if you learned something then please do like share and subscribe to my channel see you in another video bye bye